What's going on guys, this is Conscience here and I just wanted to chat with y'all a little bit about the third track on my album, Rem, uh, which is called Learn Love. And uh, this song was a very personal song to me. Uh, it's, it's about learning love, obviously, uh, but more importantly, I'm kind of wrestling with this idea of, you know, the deepest demonstration of God's love is in his son, Jesus Christ, that he sent him. You know, we were undeserving of eternal life and yet in God's goodness graciousness and kindness and his sovereign will um, he orchestrated that people would come and, and experience newness of life and begin believing in him and the relationship would only be restored um, after Christ had came and lived the perfect life that we didn't but should have and uh, and was resurrected um, for our sake and so um, that's the deepest demonstration of love. And I hadn't understood that in its fullness. I still don't, but uh, it was a very early stage of me beginning to understand that when I got saved at a really young age. And uh, over time, God had revealed himself to me in his word and through other people, um, just the weight of that. Uh, and yet, while I didn't fully understand it, um, God was also showcasing love towards me through my mom. And um, so I wanted to kind of talk about wanting love from a stepfather uh, growing up and getting it, but not quite experiencing it or that the sweetness wasn't as sweet as I was expecting it to be. And then ultimately getting let down by that, but being thankful that my mom was around being two parents, being super loving despite our circumstances and things she went through as well as what she went through with my brother and I. And um, it's just a song of worship and praise. Thank you, God, that I had a parent in the household that showed love to me and kept me in church and kept me close to you. And, uh, and also just thank you for you, thanking God because he made me learn love. And, um, you know, again, another song that's bouncy, but has a, an extreme amount of weight to it. And uh, my wife really connected with that song. A lot of people really connected with that song because everybody knows what it's like to seek love. You know, we are made to, to love things and people. And so, um, you know, we, we constantly are looking for pure love. Uh, and that can only come from God. And, and God's people are being perfected in that through Jesus and by the Holy Spirit. Um, but it's a journey. And so we can all relate with wanting love, not getting love, being betrayed, never finding love, feeling alone. And so I wanted to communicate an emotional energy that just says, hey, God loves you. You can have a deep, full love that no one can provide uh, from God alone. And also just be thankful for the things around you that demonstrate who God is and God's love despite you rejecting him or not being in a deep place with him where you're always experiencing his love in its fullness. So um, I hope you guys really enjoyed that record. Again, you can check it out at conscienceshiphop.com. And I really want to know what you guys think about this. You know, have you been betrayed before? Have you been let down by love before? Do you even know what love is and how it's defined? Do you believe that uh, Jesus is the highest uh, example and demonstration of God's love? Um, I want to know what's going on in your, in your guys' head because I think it's something we can always dialogue about because we all connect with it. So uh, let me know what y'all think, man, and I'll talk to y'all soon. Peace.